This is a video on setting the CN101A 12 volt DC timer. All right, so this one here has been programmed before, so the easiest thing to do is to clear the memory. That will erase the time and all program settings. Uh, just by holding and depressing the clear button, you can use a pen or a screwdriver. All right, now we're down to zero. First, the next step is to program the time. This time clock button here, keep that depressed. Press the day. You notice the day is changing at the top. It's Monday today. All right. Just switching hands, keeping that depressed. Let's do the hour now. Let's say it's 12 o'clock. Now we'll do the minute. Quarter past 12 on Monday. All right, so that's the time set. Now let's do the program. So that's the P button here for program. All right, so this is the time that the timer will turn on. You notice there's a, that's the first program and that's the time that it will turn on. All right, so we want it to turn on every day of the week, so we'll ignore the day button. Let's just do the hour. So we want it to turn on at six o'clock in the morning. We've got six o'clock on all days of the week. Hit the program button again. Now this is the time off button. So let's say we want to do six o'clock and we only want it to run for one minute. So we've got six, the previous setting was six o'clock on. This one is six o'clock and one minute, 601 is off. All right, so, so that means that it will run for one minute. Now let's do another program. Just hit that program button again. So this is program number two. This is the on time we're setting hour. So we want it to go on for at eight o'clock in the morning. Now we want it to go, we want to set the off time to off. Program two, off time. Eight o'clock. We want it to run for one minute. Okay. Now we just keep going on through, I think there's 17 programs, 17 different times for on and off. Um, and we can just continue going through there. So say we want the next one to go on at 12 o'clock. That's the on time. Lock that in by pressing the program. Now we'll switch to the off time. 12. You might want it to go for say three minutes. That's it. When and when you're ready, you can either just leave it there for, I think it's about 30 seconds, or you can press the clock time again. Okay. And if we want to check our programs while we're in the clock mode, just press program on six o'clock, off six o one, on eight o'clock, on eight off eight o one, on at twelve and off at 12.03. And that's all the programs that we have. Wow, almost got 20. Um, and then that's that's pretty well it. Now see this auto button here, that auto, not a button, the auto symbol. Uh, we can scroll through that on auto off so that would turn the timer off completely so it wouldn't activate auto means that it will do the program times that you set and on means that it's constantly on now when it's connected to a 12 volt dc source that red light will turn on uh, that is to indicate that the relay is triggered so you can scroll through go to off and go like that to on um, you don't want to keep it with the red light on uh, to lock the relay in. So sometimes when you switch from on to auto, that might be locked in. Go to off and then go back again. Alright, that's it. Thanks.